Today it's uh, very clear that freedom goes against the wall, the wall, the Berlin Wall. Freedom, triumphation in politics can make us, on the other side, blind for deeper insights to the real problems of the politics and even to the freedom. Modern Europe has been established on the value of freedom. Freedom in comparison to security. When Hobbes discussed the contrat social, he was uh, for freedom combining with security. So here is our topic. The Berlin Wall was erected by the government of Eastern Germany upon the order of the Socialist Unity Party of Germany. This is not an unimportant piece of information since it helps us to determine the outside and the inside of the Berlin Wall. The position of being inside of the Berlin Wall belonged to the Soviet Union, while the role of being outside belonged to the United States, Great Britain and France. The key question, the key question in this context was the question of the relation between the elements of security and freedom that wall was able to offer to the community. When did the politics of the wall become problematic? The central role, central role of a wall is to ensure security to the community which is located on the inside of the wall. In extreme, extreme cases, a wall could be used as a means of repression by which the freedom of those who should be protected by the wall is violated. However, those people who, are, who were outside the wall have the opposite problem. Their freedom is guaranteed as a general principle, but their security is not. The Berlin Wall enabled the Eastern German authorities to exercise control over Eastern Germans whose freedom was thereby violated. That is why the fall of Berlin Wall symbolized the victory of freedom. But free society should secure freedom. We know very well the speech of John F. Kennedy here in Berlin, but on the level of political philosophy, we still do not have an answer of the question, how is it possible that John F. Kennedy, great deliverer of freedom, and his brother, and Martin Luther King, has been assassinated in the free world. The question is not on the level of police investigation, but on the level of political philosophy. We need this answer to put more serious the question of relations between security and uh, freedom. Each individual has a space that belongs only to him, a space of his inner consciousness, a space to freely balance his own life, a space of taking responsibility for the consequences of his actions, and a space of freely connecting to other individuals. John Stuart Mill, great liberal, claimed that in society an individual is responsible only for those actions which 
affect other people, while regarding those actions which affect only himself, his independence, his independence is justifiable, unconditional, and that the freedom of an individual must be limited to such a degree that he is not a burden on other people. 